right, and hey there, Proxy, and this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Y Prox Lock, and if you guys missed out in the last episode, we are now finished and done with, with Kumarine City, we actually went and taken care of Ramos, got ourselves our fourth badge, and now we're trying to make on our way on over to where Lumio City is, because I believe Clement is going to be our next up and coming gem leader, but before we can actually go and do anything about that, we have a little bit of a scenario going on over here, over at the Kalos Plower Plant, which we actually do have to go and worry about with some Team Flare members, which I'm also pretty certain that we're also going to be meeting up with some other of the other type of special forces of the other team uh, flare grunts that we are also going to be meeting, which I totally forgot what their names are because it has been way too long since I've actually done anything Generation 6 wise for quite a while, but uh, we'll be able to make sure about what their names are, uh, hopefully, uh, if, if they are going to be uh, the vanilla characters that they are going to be, because if you guys remember, each uh, different trainer that we go and face are going to have like the randomized trainer class, so I'm not really too entirely certain on, uh, on if we're going to be seeing the vanilla one or not, but anyways uh, let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap we'll see how our team is and then we'll jump right into uh, all of the stuff that's going on inside the power plant so we actually got stuff uh, over here with Redfield over at level 41 that does have Brian Metal Claw Surf and also Peck does have the leftovers of course we also do have Farron at level 36 so he uh, so basically Farron is not uh, frozen anymore I did go back uh, to the uh, Pokemon Center got everybody all healed up and uh, seems like we're ready to rock and roll now uh, it does have uh, Glare, Land Rats, Dragon Breath and also Bite and also at level 36 we also do have Wendy at uh, level 35 with the poison bar still that does have bug bite, poison jab, venom shock, and also cut. We also do have Zeus at level 30 with the sky plate still, so that does have fly, revenge, swagger, and also shock wave. And we also can't forget about Kuma at level 30 with light screen, side shock, fake out, and also disarming voice. Oh, it's about to be uh, getting all the way up there to level 30, of course. And, or, or sorry, uh, level 31, of course. Uh, but we also do have SSB at level 35 with power up, punch, sword, stance, strength, and also bone rush, and does hold out on the Lucario Knight. Now, I just want to make sure on what quick thing that uh, we actually do have our exp share turned back on so let me just see here for a quick second uh so okay there we go so the exp share is now finally turned on okay i didn't realize if i turned it back on or not but it seems like uh everything is uh back up and ready to rock and roll because like i was kind of confused because like kumba never really got up to another level yet and i was kind of I was kind of a little bit concerned about that, but hopefully you guys are having a great day out here for today. I think you guys should also be seeing a ukulele impossible layer as well too for another uh, Let's Play episode on this channel for today as well. So hopefully you guys go and check out that because uh, we're getting pretty far in depth into that game right now. And I've been really enjoying a ukulele impossible layer uh, for quite a while now. And uh, I've been thinking about probably doing uh, doing like a, quite a few like back to back episodes with uh, ukulele impossible layer because of just how fun the game is all about. Because like uh, again, this game is kind of based around uh, banjo kazooie which i really do like and uh i just love how with, with all the comedy and the humor in it in that game it's just absolutely fun and you guys should go and try out uh the ukulele series as well because it's just a really fun series to do uh but anyways uh, i'm just gonna go and set up for a brine and just go and destroy out the slugma out here nice but also as well too, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, have been noticing, but uh, on the live stream, I am actually doing a, uh, a co-op with another person, uh, which uh, I am doing a, a co-op stream with doing a Pac-Man World 2 uh, type of let's play. And uh, we were trying to get everything ready and try to get everything sorted off and stuff. And uh, unfortunately, it just was not working out and uh, it was just not good. <laughs> Uh, my partner was having a little bit of some technical difficulties, uh, but but like uh, I think he was trying to like get his screen capture trying to uh, trying to work, but it just wasn't uh, working at, at, like as well as it should be. And also too, his game kept on like glitching up all, all, all the way through, like 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 in most part of the beginning of the game, uh, which that wasn't really all that too great either. Oh no! And the chatter made me go all confused. Come on, you can break on out of the Zeus. Zeus. Come on, man. You are a legendary Pokemon. You should not be getting confused out right now. You should be able to break that out and just... Come on, just set up for a shockwave. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. And then just destroy out the Viviline easy. I kind of like I kind of like that form a little bit uh, of the Vivalent. Now, now I'm not too entirely sure, but I think uh, Vivalent actually does have uh, quite a few other different forms. And uh, I kind of like that one. I kind of like the black and the white, though. Uh, replace with the heal block. I'm not... Mm. Now, what is heal block? Because I'm trying to remember what that is. So, for five turns, the user prevents the opposing team from using any abilities, held items, or HP. Now, that's actually pretty cool, but I kind of want to keep Swagger, though, because, like, because, like, we don't really have, like, anything to, like, literally confuse other Pokemon. 
do really like revenge though and i really do like shockwave so i'm not gonna really use heal block but it would be nice to like have for like for like a uh, diantha or something but that's like the only thing that i can only probably see that i can go with heal block but i'm just gonna go and keep with the with all the moves that i have so there we go not even gonna worry about that anymore nice and finally kuma now can get up to level 31 nice Oh, and also, too, if you guys did forget, uh, during our uh, spinning wheel of displeasure, we did land on Return of Pokemon, so I am going to be returning back Atlas onto the team, so that is the Pokemon of my choosing that I am going to be getting back. Uh, we also do have Miraply. Enables a Dark-type target to get, be hit by a second type attack. This also enables the, uh, the evasive target to be hit. Hmm. Probably not. I, I, I kind of want to probably just keep Light Screen, I think. Maybe Fake Out I could probably switch around, because I don't really think I really do need Fake Out anymore. But I may probably have Miracle Eye there. We'll go and add that. But I know that we're going to be getting like much better moves, I think, later on anyway. So, we're going to be good. Nice. Get some extra cash along the way so that I can get some full heals for our journey for when we head into Clemens Gym. Now, for me personally, I really do like Clemens Gym uh, quite a bit. Because, like, it's just a very nice kind of relaxing type of gym. Uh, now, unfortunately, the sad thing is, is that every time that you do get, like, the correct actual answer, you still have to actually go and fight the actual trainer that is in that actual uh, part of the elevator. But it's all good. It's not all that too bad. But it's kind of nice and relaxing because you gotta just kind of just go through a little bit of a quiz game to the type. Uh, uh oh. Okay, so another flare grunt. So, uh, hey, stop right there, intruder. I'll, uh, I'll warn you now. Uh, I can't be persistent. All right, let's go, man. Let's see what you got. So he only got one Pokemon out here, but he does have a Bergmite to start off with. Well, this should be a problem for Redfield. We do have Metal Claw, so hopefully this can kind of bring you down just a little bit. All right, come on. You got this. Ooh, very close to it, though. But Whirlwind doesn't really matter. You're still going to get knocked out anyways, Bergmite. So who's coming out? <laughs> of course. It's going to be Zeus, one of our legends. All right, but here you go. Have a revenge. This is also going to be uh, do some damage. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. That has frost breath, but at least it's not blizzard or anything. That would be a little bit more of a problem with that flying type that we do have on. Well, there we go. That takes care of that. And now SSBL is now at level 36, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Wow, we don't really have to worry about doing any type of grinding or any of the sort like this. We could just be gaining levels like it's like no tomorrow out here with our EXP share. Uh, now that I'm mad, I told you that I was a uh, persistent. I refused to budge from the spot. Not an inch. So now we can't even enter into this uh, or enter through that way anymore. Which that's fine. Uh, we do have some irons. Can I give that to anybody? Just like probably just throw that on Zeus or something. There you go. I know I could probably sell that for some cash, but yeah. Don't really need to worry about that. But we do actually have some fresh waters and also uh, some hypers, so we're all good here for the time being. Oh no, another fight with another flare grunt. Okay, fine, let's do it. So, oh, I sure do love be a good ha uh, happening. I love uh, the feel of accomplishment that uh, comes with overcoming a challenge. Well, let's see what you got here, flare grunt. We're not a flare grunt. You're just preschooler. Okay then. Uh, Reap. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go and switch out into. I can switch out into Farron, or I can switch out into SSBL. Uh, let's just go for SSBL, I think. Let's just bring out some more of our mega Pokemon out here for the time being, and just kind of show off our skills out here for the time being. Shockwave shouldn't really do that much anyways. Okay. Mega of all time. And then a Bone Rush. Let's do it. Let's go. Bone Rush is such a nice, good move. Well, well, for the time being, though. But I hope that we can get some better ground-type moves a little bit later on with uh, with Lucario. There we go. Not bad. Come on, hit it again. Nice. Two times, and Reap is down. Not too shabby. Okay. Now, who else is coming? Zygarde himself is also going to be coming out. This is great. Um... Now, we could technically have uh, a Zygar versus Zygar fight, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to take care of this, though. Because, like, I'm pretty certain that Surf is not going to really do much, but we'll see. Because you are a grounded dragon, so I'm pretty certain Surfing, or anything for that matter, is not going to do anything. 
Um, let me see. So you do have sand tube. Uh, well, that's gonna be a problem right now. Now we're gonna be trapped in the sandstorm now. Okay, it brought it down to half, so that's actually not bad. Now, we kind of already know what Zygarde has, but again, uh, this Zygarde in particular is going to probably have some other different type of randomized moves out here, so... I think all it's going to be going right now is just Sand Tube anyways. Okay. So here comes another Surf. Hopefully we can bring it down to, uh, to literally destroy you. Oh, there we go. So Zygarde is down and out. Good job, Redfield. I don't know how fair it would have worked out with this Zygarde, because Dragon Breath wouldn't even do a whole lot. I just really badly want to get myself, like, Dragon Rage, or, like, uh, or even, like, Dragon Pulse, for that matter, on, on Farron, because that would be really nice, because I don't really like this whole Dragon Breath thing. It, it, like, it's really slow, <laughs> and it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Alright, there we go. Get all red field all almost fully healed up there, but... Got one more other type of flare grunt out here, and I think we should be good. So, aren't these sunglasses the coolest? I bet that you're jealous. Too bad that you can't have them. I know, I wish... I wish, like, uh, in the real world that, that like, uh, that the Pokemon company would actually, like, uh, sell out those type of sunglasses. Because I wouldn't mind actually getting one of those. Like, the Team Flare glasses. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Surf. This is just a Cleffa, right? <laughs> Cliff, I shouldn't really be that too much of an annoying Pokemon anyway, so there you go. <laughs> At least it's not a Cliff Fable, because then we'll be here all day if I was trying to do a surf. <laughs> there we go. That takes care of that. And then you're going to be setting it out for a Beldum. Okay. Um, now, this would kind of help out with SSBL, I think. Let's see. Am I going to be correct out here? It's just a bell on them. It's not like a Metagross or anything, so we're not going to be here for quite a while, but... I'm going to set up for a Bolt Rush, I think. There we go. Alright. Mega Ring time. And let's see. Can we do a Bone Rush? Can we do just do some damage? Nice. Come on, go for the three. Or go for a five. Okay, never mind. I guess three can also work as well, too. Because... <laughs> uh, it seemed like uh, like the damage was going very slow, so I thought we were going to be probably uh, laying out for all five, I thought. <laughs> but no, three is better, too. Okay, so we're almost done. Uh, do we have anything that we need to do here? Well, SSBL's fine. It's not, like, too much in the uh, in the bad area of, uh, of our uh, HP, so we're good. So go, uh, T-Flare, go! T-Flare, F to the L to the A to the R to the E! Yep, there you go. Oh, so now you only have one Pokemon this time, and it's gonna be only a Blitzel. Well, that should be fine enough. That would be good for, uh, for Baron, because any type of electric type moves is not gonna be working on us. Alright, there we go. Baron, it's all up to you now. Let's do it. So let's see what this Blitzel has in store, though. Got that away, but again, doesn't affect us, so we are in the clear of that, so that is good enough. Here we go, and destroy out the Blitzel easily. Nice. Alright, so Blitzel is down and out, and I think, do we have one of those uh, special Team Flare member fights that we have to do? Because that should be coming up. So, go Team Flare, go. But thank you for the money. Okay, so, oh, we're not even done yet. We still got our, uh... Another grunt to go through. So what do I want to do? So how about inflicting some serious pain on your Pokemon? So I guess I can see why that that, that one uh, flare grunt is not even budging at all because we have to go through all these flare grunts to actually go and battle everybody before we actually go and take care of the the special team flare grunt person that we have to go and worry about. Now I don't know. Uh, would Surf do a lot of damage? Let's see. Alright, nope, no more detecting. Let's see how much stuff is going to do. Well, it still knocks it out. Alright, so see you later, Timber. Okay, so that takes care of the Timber, but we do got ourselves a Brawzong coming out. Um, we should probably... Hmm, bring out Farron out here for this one? I don't know. Because I'm pretty certain I don't think Lamp Wrath is going to do a lot of damage, because I don't know... 
Because I'm pretty certain this Brazar does have Levitate. So let's try this out here. Okay, so it actually still works. And there we go, Brazog is gone, and that actually kind of helps out for a little bit. I do have to say, though, I really do enjoy uh, using a Brazog uh, for, like, competitive stuff and, and, and all that, because, like, I just really like how bulky uh, Brazog is, and I kind of like, and I kind of like his uh, moveset a little bit as well, too. Uh, like, Iron Defense and uh, Flash Cannon and stuff like that. Um, but let's keep on heading down from here, and, oh, got another battle. Well, I think what we're going to do right here is going to probably call this apart then. I don't think we're going to have enough time to literally do everything that we need to do here in the power plant. So I'll just hold off on this battle and also with the uh, special team flare grunt battle as well too. Uh, so we'll go and hold off on those. And then hopefully with that, all of that being said, we can just go and head right on over to where Clevis Jim is. And uh, try to do a little bit of his stuff there. And hopefully within the next few episodes or so, we should be able to go and challenge up Clement. And continue on uh, our journey throughout here. But anyways, uh, I I think uh yeah so don't forget to comment like also subscribe uh I, well i guess the comment question of the day uh will probably have to be is um hmm i don't know if uh if if, if uh if game freak ever decided to uh make like another dlc or or, or type of something out here for uh for generation six uh what do you guys uh want to see uh for uh for here uh in in uh in generation six if they ever uh decide to like uh let's say like make a remake of generation six or something uh what what type of uh, uh what type of special legendary pokemon do you guys want to see like in that game for like a mystery event or or something like that for like post game wise or, or uh any other sort like that but let me know uh in, in the uh, comments down below and i'll see you guys then and uh and peace